Hi everybody, my name is Chris, a member of Matthew IL. From today, I'm going over uh, one question every single day on the past Matthew IL tests to help prepare myself and everybody else who's interested in taking the test. So today we're going the question of combinations. Uh, the question stated that the number of uh, it asks you the number of combinations of eight distinct objects taken at five at a time. There's a little trick to this question is that every time you uh, you see eight distinct object and when the order sequence isn't uh, doesn't matter. I mean this by when you're taking a list, for example five this time, the order of object doesn't matter, which means that you take for example object A. Object B, Object C, Object D, and Object E. Uh, this is the equivalent to taking Object A, Object E, Object B, Object C, and Object D. What you see, even though the E changes position, this uh, the entire thing is still the same. We still count as one. So that's what I mean by when the sequence doesn't matter. So whenever you see this type of questions, you can use C, uh, eight, five. So eight here refers to the total number, uh, the total amount of objects you have, and then five uh, refers to the amount you're actually taking. Uh, so every time you can see, you can do this. And how do you find the actual value of this? Is by finding the product descending number starting from a and five descending number from it. So it'll be a times seven times six times five times four. Also, you need to divide it by the product of all the descending numbers starting from five. So it will be five times four times three times two and times one. Every time you see this type of question, you can use this type of formula to help you find the amount of combinations. So this give us a total of 56, which is choice E in this situation. And that's how you do combination problems.